Hi Mike, I finished the uh, pistol range box today, so I just kind of wanted to give you a little instructional video on it before I uh, send it off. Um, <clears throat> there's actually one more thing I'm waiting on in the mail, and then I'll um, I'll send it. So today I finished the two different kinds of pistol racks or pistol yeah the pistol racks. And I touched up the Tolex a little bit. The Tolex isn't uh, perfect. I know if I were to ever do it again, I could probably do a better uh, job. But just a little bit about the box. It's made out of half-inch birch plywood. Um, and uh, I think it is pretty sturdy. I mean, you don't see really any of those uh, Packmeyer boxes around anymore. There's probably a reason that, you know, the wooden boxes just aren't as durable. Um, but we'll see if, you know, it break. I want you to use it. If it breaks, it breaks. Um, I do think it is pretty sturdy. Um, you know, the, the Tolex is probably going to get uh, banged up with reasonable use, but you could actually redo the um, Tolex at some point. Um, you can see the nickel plated uh, corners to protect the corners. You got your 12 inch um, hinge on there, spring latches for the um, front of the box. On the on the other side, um, these are window sash locks for the. Uh, spotting scope and this just pops open and you can see the uh, velcro fasteners um, in there this is rubber padding right here and these things are screwed in um, it should fit a pretty large spotting scope I could fit like a coffee thermos in the thing so it should it should fit you know the older Packmeyer boxes had the spotting scope um, on the bottom. It fit in a drawer on the bottom down here, and then the lid would open the opposite direction of this. The lid would open from down here. It would open this way, and then they would attach um, the spotting scope there. So on the inside, you can see that we have um, the plywood shelf. Let me pull that out. I'm sorry, it's all shaky. I'm holding my phone at the same time. Then inside the shelf is just um, quarter inch rubber mat. Um, and that shelf is secured in there with these two uh, pieces of half inch plywood that are screwed in the, the sides. You can't see the screws because they're on underneath the uh, the Tolex. I reinforced the box with uh, these half inch braces. So in addition to the regular glued joinery in here, there are um, screws holding it. That's why I think this thing is pretty sturdy. Um, what had been taking me a while is actually these pistol racks. I looked at the old Packmeyer boxes. I couldn't find any um, instructions or any information on how their clamp worked for it's actually not a clamp they call it a I don't know I forget what it was called but how their um, pistol rack worked but uh, I did my best just based off the pictures so there's this little knob here that'll loosen up and then you can fit the pistols in here so the barrels will go in here and then the uh, but of the weapon will race rest on there. You should be able to fit three M1911s. I made this um, so there's enough room in here to have uh, a little bit more than an inch in between each one of these. And the barrels um, and the, the, the slides on the M1911s are just under an inch. And then you would just kind of tighten this down. Not It's not a vise, so you don't want to like go crazy on it and clamp them down hard. But it should be able to secure the the frame of the weapon tightly. Um, so there is a there will be a little play back and forth. Um, 
I don't think that'll matter. It's not like you're going to be swinging the box over your head. This part is padded. Um, and even if it slides, it shouldn't matter because the pistols shouldn't bump in to uh, one another because they'll be held with this clamp. So I haven't tested it out yet. I will. I still haven't got my pistols, but I will. The second thing I wanted to give an option um, in case this didn't work out for you or you didn't like it. I just thought it was definitely um, old old school. You can see today my pro my what I did is I um, put the uh, the uh, what do you call it? felt on it, which I, I have to clean up a little bit because there's glue on it. The second thing I thought this was really cool is a different kind of pistol rack. Um, I, I looked up uh, wooden pistol racks and I found one that I thought I could modify to um, fit in this box and that's what I did. I made two pieces here and this I cut to fit in this spot here and this I cut, I made to fit in this spot here and these will fit uh, a pistol um, three pistols uh, securely. This has all got felt in it and you got your rubber padding down here and then this has felt in it too. So you should be able to get three pistols um, in there that way. This is a little bit wider than an inch um, as well. If you have some short barreled pistols that maybe this is too too long, you can take this and flip it around this way. that and uh, you can have shorter barrel pistols in there so you put your pistols in put your shelf back in and close up lock up and you are ready ready for the range the handle is spring-loaded um, probably if I were to redo this again I wouldn't I wouldn't get a spring-loaded <laughs> handle like that I thought it would be cool that secured underneath by um, a whole bunch of bolts and in washers. I don't think you'll have to worry about that coming apart. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I, I hope you like it. We'll get it sent off soon. I will send you a uh, link to this video in your text and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.